What's up, YouTube? This is um, Game Randomly, and I'm going to show the recent games I've gotten recently. And I'm also going to do a little background story on each of them. The first pickup I did was my friend came into town from being gone for a year, so went to his old house, which I've never seen before, and he had a bunch of cool games. But he doesn't like any of the games, so I got... Mario Party 6 unopened but it's bent as you can see all over the place so I decided to open it up because I didn't know if he like ripped open the bottom because the bottom looked really messed up but I was wrong he didn't open it but I did instead everything in there is still brand new and sealed even the microphone as you can see it's still in there so yeah he gave me that Mario Party. As you know, it's a pretty fun game with friends, but you can lose all of your stars in like two seconds if someone does something right, so it's kind of annoying when you're with your friends. And then the second thing he gave me was Warrior World. Um, I don't know anything about this game, but I just know that it's kind of like a platformer, or like kind of like a fighting game. And yeah, it's a got it for free. Free is always, can't get wrong with free. And then, um, he was telling me how he had PlayStation 2, and how he hated that too, so I found Sly 2. It's in horrible condition though, but he just did not care, he just gave it to me, so that was free. Alright, then today, I had a huge treasure hunt today. I went to this local thrift marketplace, and I got Ratchet Deadlocked, which is the worst Ratchet and Clank game I hear. But I got it complete for only five dollars. Five dollars, that's a bargain. And then my next stop was pretty horrible. We I asked went to this local game store and we asked if they had Shadow of the Colossus. They said yes and we searched every PS2 rack and there was nothing. So I found God of War 2. And I picked that up. I don't... Well, I could show you the one that I have now, but... We got God of War 2. Got God of War 2. But it was the Greatest Hits version, and it was sealed. But we went to a pawn shop after that, and we found these games for $5. <laughs> I got God of War 1 and 2 for $5. That was an extreme bargain. And then also I spotted Pikmin for only 10 So yeah, I went back and I of course returned the game that was $15, God of War 2. So now I got God of War 2, 2 disc special edition, God of War 1, greatest hits sadly, and then you already saw Pikmin. Now of course you know these are hack and slash games, you just run around and hit things and go to the next level and crap. So yeah, that'll be fun. It's a little game you can play. And uh, Pikmin, it's pretty awesome. I have not gotten to play it yet, but I've seen people play it on YouTube, and Pete Doerr was talking about it, so just picked it up. Alright, and then the next place I hit was an extreme jackpot. You have no idea. I was freaking out. When we got in there, it looking pretty gay. <laughs> no... No good deals, like twenty, thirty dollar Xbox games, I was not happy. Thirty Xbox 360 games. And then I looked down and I saw the Xbox original games. Now what I first saw was this bad boy. Doom 3 Limited Collector's Edition. And the best part about it was that it was one dollar. Yeah, it was one dollar. That's one dollar for this. And also, I got plenty of other games. Pretty awesome. It's also complete. It says a sit um, initials right here, but complete, no scratches on the disc. And then um, turns out all these games are one dollar. So I got Far Cry Instincts for one dollar. Can't go wrong with that. Everyone told me that Beyond Good and Evil was a good game, so one dollar. Got Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance for the Xbox for one dollar also. Deus Ex or Deus Ex, I have no clue.
clue how to pronounce that, but Invisible War, also one dollar, amazing deal. And then um, here maybe comes the coolest thing I spotted. One dollar. Pretty awesome. Ultimate edition. Double double disc collector's edition is what it says. So open it up. It's pretty sick. Thing is that it was complete and for only one dollar. You got everything. No like back art, just beautifulness. Everything's complete and gorgeous. One dollar. This was what surprised me the most, though. It was just it was one dollar, and that it just didn't care. So I have these. I've never even played Dead or Alive in my life, but you can't give it up for this. Is just unreal for one dollar. Just gonna say right now. All right, and then on the same shelf, lucky enough, I found Dead or Alive three. This one, the case obviously in bad shape, as you can see, but it also came complete. So, I'm very thankful for that. Alright, so I went to my local Hastings, and I saw this, and I went ahead and picked this up. I have Jack 2, and I sold my old Jack Precursor Legacy. I don't know why I did that. I loved that game, but... Got Jack 3 for $10. Haven't opened it yet. It was used, though, of course. As you can see from the sticker right here, used. But yeah. I, um, my little brother happened to spot the game I've been looking for all day, and he, <laughs> no one, we couldn't find it in anywhere else, and Shadow of the Colossus. Now, the first thing that I ever heard about this game was the Mega 64 sketch, where you, <laughs> you, if you haven't seen it, I'll link it below, it's pretty hilarious, um, but yeah, they just go out in public and he dresses up as the guy in the suit right here, the beast, and yeah, he just climbs on top of him and stabs him, it's pretty awesome, but yeah, I've been anticipating to play this game for a long time, and I found it for 20 bucks brand new, too bad it's greatest hits, but it's Shadow of the Colossus, gotta have it, I did, I could not find Eco, so that kind of made me sad, and a ton, a ton of other games I couldn't find, but these were the best games, and I pretty much cleared out all the good games from all the stories in my town, so, yeah, thanks for watching.